Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. We crashed in the Lost Kingdom and got 20 Power Moons to restore the Odyssey. So, let's do that. We found just enough power moons to fix up the Odyssey, thank goodness. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's kill it with some stuff that we already know. Well, there it is. Now then, where are we? Where were we? Ah yes, we were on our way to the Metro Kingdom. The whole kingdom is one vast city filled with skyscrapers. It seems it was built using energy from power moons. The scourge, the scourge on the skyscraper. All right, we finally made it. Things don't look good, so good though. Look, it's Bowser's ship. Let's go. Yep. Well, this is a place we've seen before because we've actually got a uh, flag over there. <coughs> Ah, uh, but we can't use the flag at the moment because the main story has to happen first. Uh, but anyway, now that the uh, Odyssey's fixed up, we can actually see what the material is underneath the, th the paint. And it may look familiar to us because it's actually made of the same material as the blocks are. And as we can see over here, there's another block. This can't be good. What is that thing doing there, here? What do you think, Mayor Pauline? Oh, uh... I'm sorry, but I really don't have time to chat right now. I need to figure out a way to save my city. Oh. Things have been in utter chaos since that brutish monster showed up, showed up, oh. and he has the nerve to be advertising this wedding all over his over all over New Donk City. A bit tasteless, if you ask me. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to do something about him. And that's going to start off by getting some of these purple coins, which look like, I don't know, coins. Me head into the city? I don't even know how to start pronouncing that word. <laughs> anyway, I don't think he wants to go any anywhere. Anyway. There's certainly a lot of nasty looking bugs around here. Yep, and these maggots turn into these flies which attack us. We can't capture them at all. And they're gonna just dash into us. When they hit something, they just die anyway. But anyway, there's also some scaffolding we can go into for some health. And there's also tanks. Obviously, the best thing out of all of this. We can get rid of garbage, and we can also block the cars around here, if we need to. Okay. Get rid of that. I don't know if there are... Oh, there's just coins there. Okay. Well, anyway. Let's hop on out. And go over this way. Guess we could have blown up uh, this to make that fall down for those blocks over there, but we don't need that. So let's just go past everything over here. This scaffolding is moving. Oh, hey, I threw my cappy. I don't even know how, because I didn't do anything. But anyway, it's a good thing there was a, uh... <clears throat> it's a good thing there was a, uh... What's it called there? A flag. But anyway. 
Let's take this and blow up some stuff. Just so it's a little bit clearer. Oh, flies. Uh, but if we turn around and break these boxes over here, we can actually go into this scaffolding and get a moon inside the iron girder. We can actually see that we already have two power moons that are brown. And one's the one that we got from traveling from the Sand Kingdom to here. Anyway, take out these enemies, please. There's a lot of these posters everywhere. Anyway, if I can, I'm going to grab this thing. This tank. Now let's take it this way, because there's a lot of tanks that we can fight over here. Ooh, take him out, please. But also, we need to keep going forward. Let's grab this flag. These flags also don't last forever, so they only appear at this point in time. I also love the rain. Gotta say that. I love the rain. You can use this thing to get up here. This wire. But there's also, off the edge of here, some purple coins to get, and we can just wall jump up, so... I always said we're doomed. Nobody ever listens to me. The mayor is gonna earn her salary now. Whoa, hey there, little man. You're not with that monster fella, are you? This whole sitch uh, looks pretty bleak if you ask me. And even if you don't. Anyway, grab that flag. And let's grab this power moon up here. Sway swaying in the breeze. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I might be wrong. Okay, this I'm I'm wrong. Just Oh, there is purple coins over, over here to grab, so that's important. Anyway. Let's go into this building. New Donk City whole interior, which is very empty and has a pit in it for some reason. But that's fine. This is absolutely fine. Looks like it's in construction anyway. So, I guess that's what what's happening. Oh, don't fall, please. Thank you. Let's go down here, though. If I can. Because there's some purple coins down here to grab. Very nice. Some more purple coins. Some more fly maggots. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I dodged any of that. Also, I believe, if I'm not wrong, there's actually a pole up there you can grab from here. Ah, uh, but we're gonna go up and then grab it from up there. There's also some purple coins there that I want to grab. Okay, let's go up. Remember to shake to go up faster if you need to. Some purple coins if we go down this pole. And if we actually grab that pole this pole by wall jumping up. We could have actually gone up here a lot faster. But we wouldn't have got everything. So instead, let's go here and let's flip forward and then go up here. And pole, jump from pole to pole. Up to here, because there's a treasure chest up here. Which has another power moon for us to grab. City hole lost and found. Don't think there's anything else we're missing, so let's just keep going. And actually, in one of these blocks might be... Nope. No mind. I was wrong. One of these blocks, maybe? Yep, there's a life up heart. So it's worth grabbing that. And let's go. We're still not high enough? A friend of mine went up to the top of that building. He hasn't come back. It's so human, Dad. That thing is trying to suck up all the juice from my city.
Okay, so it's boss time. We have to use a tank to actually fight it, so let's get rid of the other tank so it doesn't bother us. Bother us. Uh, we need to shoot its fireballs that it shoots towards us, and also its glowing parts of its body. And then once they're all out, we can just shoot it over and over to do some damage. When it goes into this phase, we need to dodge the yellow line that turns red, because it's going to charge at us and we can't do anything about that. Okay, just dodge. And now, it's going to charge us at us again. Yes, it is. Okay, and now it's going to go up onto the wall again. Now we need to do what we did before, and shoot its yellow thing so they don't hit us. And also shoot its body, which looks a lot longer than it was before, actually. Please shoot. We can only shoot so fast. Oh dear. Each part of its body that is still glowing will also make more of these yellow balls that are going to go towards you. I'm having a little bit of trouble because I, uh, I pressed the right button on the controller a few times, and that actually resets the, uh, the center point of the motion controls, which I probably shouldn't even be using. Should be using the right stick instead of motion controls, because that's just better. If you hit uh, in the middle of three of the points on its body, it will count the other two next to it, since the blast has a bit of extra range on it, or area of effect. Fresh start for the city. We got rid of the big bag bug thing, and the weather cleared up. But Bowser must have must have gotten away in the in the scuffle. We should probably get back to in, to chasing him. We don't have enough power moons, so let's look around the city for for some. Okay, well first I'm gonna actually go back over to the Sand Kingdom. Uh, all of the flags poles that we touched during that area, in, during that look around the boss city are mostly gone. Some of them are still there, like the one on top of the heliport and the one over by the construction site. But all the rest are gone, so the one that was over there, the one that was over there, they're just all gone. Pretty much. But anyway, let's head to the Sand Kingdom because we have some hint art for there. So, let's grab onto the Jaxi, which you don't need to pay for more than once, so we can actually just go straight to where we need to go with this. Over to here, uh, because if we go to our hint art, since we can actually pretty much see what we need to look at, this is the hint art. There's the walking Koopa Trooper and some bushes up from him that we need to ground pound under. So, back to the game. <laughs> I've pretty much set it up so we actually know where ex exactly where we need to be. So that's ground pound right here. Oh, actually, no, I'm wrong, aren't I? Hang on. I remember this one. It's actually very specific about this, I'm pretty sure. So let's head straight north from here. Yep. I'm not joking. Straight north. And after quite a while of going straight north-ish, avoiding the hole, is actually some more bushes. And this is where the moon is. It's very out of the way. But anyway, let's head back to the uh, the kingdom, where it is. The painting, if I can. Although I might actually have to walk a little bit. That's fine. I would have to walk a bit, a little bit anyway. I could have used the Jaxi, but still.
And also, if we head back, please let me head back to the Odyssey. If we go back over this way and look off the edge at this, uh, the glass reflection, it just reflects a completely different part of the level that is definitely not what it's supposed to be reflecting from here. But I guess that's just how it is. There's not really any better way to do it. Uh, before we move on, let's head back down here because there's a painting of the steam gardens in the Wooded Kingdom. And popping us out back over here, we can grab this flag, which means we can go to the, um, the Metro Kingdom fairly quickly. But there's also a Power Moon here for us to grab. And just quickly while I'm on this run, let's hop down. And from here, if we jump over this way, I'm pretty sure there's another way to actually get up here. But there's actually a... Another painting here that we can go into. Something smells scrumptious. But anyway, there's a flag here and also a light blue power moon. Or aqua power moon, I guess. I don't know. I prefer to think of it as light blue. But anyway, let's head back and back to... Um, oh, wrong, wrong time to press that. And not back to the Metro Kingdom. Okay, so now that all that is out of the way, let's go up here. Mayor Pauline is the bee's knees. I wonder what she's up to now after the most recent excitement. Good to see folks in the city looking chipper again. And if we go over here, we can actually get into here for another power moon. We actually went over that when we went to the boss. We can't actually have this open up to us until this point. But anyway, let's head into the city. Here we are. There's also taxis everywhere, which we can bounce on. And also this. The jump rope. Which is one of the most notorious shine, no, moons in the game. We have to jump over the rope if we touch it as it's going along the ground. We have to restart. And if we can jump over it enough... Oh, I'm going to have trouble with this. I'm going to have a lot of trouble with this, I just realized, and I know why. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have so much trouble with this. Hang on, we have to go back away from it if we lose. And restart. There is a glitch for doing this without actually having to do this. But we need to jump over this a lot. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna turn off my sound because the sound is actually useful for me usually, but I've also got a slight delay on the sound. So I don't want that to mess me up. At 30 we got a moon. But if we keep going, and it keeps getting faster... It stops getting faster at 50. But if we can keep jumping long enough... Nope. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be difficult for me. The sound is really not gonna help me, but I have to do it. If You, you have to kind of just keep tapping the jump button. It does tell you your personal best at the bottom of the screen as well. But I'm just not ready for this. Usually I can get this first try, but 
that's with the sound actually in time. jump button as soon as you hit the ground. But if I can... No! Oh my goodness. If we can make it to 100, we get a second power moon. But it's so brutal if you can't get the rhythm. Oh my goodness. You also can't touch the ladies who are making it spin. I like this angle for it with the camera so you can actually see where everything is but it's so brutal. You can use the clicking in the sound to get it time it right but it's in, yeah Otherwise, just keep jumping as soon as you hit the ground, once it gets to its top speed. You can kind of not have to worry about that early on when it's going slowish. Otherwise, you're probably going to mess it up. Oh my goodness, it's over. I had to focus mode really hard for that. Just now. Because I had to ignore the sound. Because I I think it's actually... My delay on the sound is actually perfect so it lines up with the, the next jump. I don't know how. But anyway. Oh my goodness. Anyway, let's grab these seeds because we have three places to plant these seeds which are going to give us power moons later on. So, let's do that straight away just so that we can have those as soon as possible. Also, if you couldn't tell, this place is slightly Donkey Kong themed and also slightly Mario themed because these lights are block question mark blocks, which is really cool. Uh, but the some of the bins are green and are supposed to be like pipe-like. Oh, but it's also Donkey Kong themed because of like the original Donkey Kong that is because of the the girders and also the names of the streets as well. Like, hang on, where's a signpost? Yeah, Squawks Park, Cranky Avenue. It's really cool. Um, hang on, I'm just absolutely wiped out after that skip rope. Squawks Park, okay. This is under construction. That's not a reference to anything. That's just under construction, you know. Oh, didn't mean to throw that. Dixie Street. <laughs> Banana... Beagles? Candy's Cafe. Oh, it's so cool. Anyway, if we head on over this way, I believe, is where we need to go. Um, Espresso Street, K. Rule Avenue, Avenue. Uh, if we go over in between here, we can actually grab these purple coins and then wall jump. That's the one of the bin pipes that I mentioned, or bins that look like pipes. Anyway, here's the last spot to plant a seed, so let's put that in there. Very good. And actually, if we go back down here, we can actually see this place, which may look slightly familiar to us. Yep, we get to do slots again. It's winning worldwide fame. Ten coins to play. A power moon can be won, and this time there are four slots that we need to line up. Luckily though, it's just the exact same thing for us. See the heart throw. Oh, I messed that up, but that's okay. 
because I wasn't in line. See the heart throw. Very nice. It's fairly simple if you know what you're doing. So there we go. It's cool that that's winning worldwide fame, as they say. Um, now... The purple coins in this level are literally all over the place. So it's going to take us quite a while to get them all. Uh, also we can capture these, um, things on the sides of the road, and if we hold away from the direction we want to go and launch ourselves, we can actually run after getting launched in that direction. Ratley Street, Ramby Street, oh my goodness, so many references. Anyway, let's see Pauline and also get this flag here because that's going to be useful. Hi. New Dunk City really means the world to me. I just can't thank you enough for all your help, Mario. Mm -hmm. You really must join us for our upcoming festival. I'd love to show you my gratitude to both you and the, the city with, with a surprise. Do you think you could find me four backup musicians so I could do a small musical number? Something simple. So now we need to find some musicians, which there are a few scattered around the city, like this drummer here. Yes indeed, even if, even over the rhythm of the city, I heard you two talking. Been a while since I was able to be part of the city's festival. Been a long time, been a long while. If you'll have me, you tell the big lady that I'd be, it'd be my pleasure to join her on stage. No. And these are the main, main uh, moons in this level. But anyway, now we're inside of the building and there's the drummer on stage, playing along with the music that's kind of there-ish. But it's missing a few instruments, so we're going to have to look for them. So, if we go over this way, and use this power wire thing. There's a flag here, but also part of the boss that we defeated. Which, if we ground pound on, gives us a power moon. Hidden in the scrap. It's cool that when you see a boss that you've already defeated, or part of a boss that you've already defeated, I believe there's some coins in the tree, but also a guitarist here. What's with the serious face, pal? Wait a sec. Yeah, I heard about you, little man. You're on a musical mission for the mayor, right? That, that right? Don't sweat it. Say no more. For all that she's done for the city, I'm down. Now we have a bass guitarist. It's actually got a little bit more to it. And there's some more people there in the building cheering on. Uh, we did see another guitarist around the place that we can go say hello to. Way back over by the start, over here by the jump rope. Hey, what's up, friend? You looking for uh, to score an autograph? Say, I've heard about you. You're going around getting your mus musicians to play with the mayor for the festival. I got that right? Well, for the gig rates the mayor pays, I am definitely in. And, uh, you know, civic pride. Uh, and new donk for life and all that, too. So there we go. We've got plenty of people around now. It's also convenient that all of these musicians are all wearing the same outfit. It means they all match conveniently. But anyway, we need to get the last one. Uh, but I believe that is also it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.